Now we stay on the roads at this hour, but we go further north, where traffic was negatively affected after a multi-vehicle crash on the N1 highway between Kranskop Toll Plaza and Middlefontein in Limpopo earlier today. Let's get the latest now status with the Limpopo MEC rather for Transport and Community Safety, Ms. Mavungu Lirule Ramakhanya. MEC, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time and for your patience. What is the latest you can tell us? Perhaps we can start here. We, we saw a report earlier, and I just wanted to confirm that five people have died. Can you clarify that for us? Uh, thank you very much. Indeed, we have lost uh, five people on the morning crash that happened just before uh, or around 10 o'clock on our roads. We had to close the N1 both for the northbound and the southbound just for the team to be able to deal with the scene. Uh, and the five people that we lost, four, we lost them on the road and one was lost on the way to the hospital. And has the N1 highway, which is a very big route, now been reopened since after the crash? Is it now running openly? Yes, you'll remember that we had to close Kranskop toll gate. Um, it has opened. We have opened more gates and they've just confirmed uh, the toll uh, uh, gate that they are going to do 10 minutes just to offload the traffic where they will just allow cars to pass. But uh, the stampede was already there, even though we have directed both uh, northbound and southbound traffic into the R101. Uh, currently, we are in back in inside uh, the R101 in Bilavila. We can see the congestion uh, running into Mudimule as well, but the highway now is open for traffic. Okay, and then the congestions on the alternative route as an R101. Uh, when do you think uh, it, it will start to ease off? Uh, when, when you're going to have better flow? Uh, we are giving it two hours uh, for it to be able to ease off. Because remember, uh, from the toll gate itself going north, there's not much traffic uh, because we had only one R111 uh, working. So with all the gates now open, we are giving it two hours for it to be able to calm down and we go back to the normal. We have alerted our um, team at the Nail Plaza to expect high volume uh, and be able to also open the gates, give it time for the high volume that will be arriving at the same time to be able to also pass. Okay, your, your province, like others in the country, have been uh, 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 running with campaigns for, for, for people to drive safely and respect the rules of the roads. Are you able to share with our viewers at this hour what caused the accident this morning in which those five people lost their lives? Yes, uh, it is alleged it's a tire burst, but remember the tire burst that has happened, it is also at a curve that we are also suspecting high speed because the, the tire burst, when it happened, I can confirm that uh, when the, t the people in the car have not buckled up, it means that they are actually thrown out of the car. We had survivors at the scene of the accident, uh, a family, that was in the third car where the two members have suffered very mild uh, uh, minor injuries have been taken to hospital. They are confirming that all of them in the car had uh, their seat belts on and no one in that car, even though they went into the crash, had perished. So one issue is that uh, the tires, if they are not uh, good for the road, but also the overloading of people who are adults and children because a child will not be counted as an adult, you'll find that uh, people are moving, being many in the car, then they give so much pressure as well, but also the high speed, because the, when the car crashes happens and all of them are in high speed, they cannot stop. So it's alleged that the tire burst happened at the scene and the person lost control and hit the oncoming traffic. So I guess you'll be using this opportunity to again appeal to motorists to respect the rules of the road and not speed and the passengers must wear their, their, their seat belts and that the cars that are on the road must be roadworthy. Yes, you remember our message uh, from when we launched the festive seasons 
And I was actually saying yesterday on media that since uh, uh, when we launched the October month, we never stopped. And our focus this year was to say roadworthiness of the car. So when we stop, we are also saying we need to test if seat belts are working. So we want to send out a message to everybody. Even if you are sitting at the back, you need to have your seat belt on. When you are traveling with the children, you will remember our campaign that we were running with the road accident fund where we were saying we are promoting usage of car seats for children. Don't have the children on your laps as you travel because then that way you have everybody in the car safe. Okay, thank we you. We can very confirm much. buckling up is one of the issues that we can look at. Okay, thank you very much, MEC. Uh, that's uh, Mavungu Lirule Ramakanya, MEC for Transport and Community Safety in Limpopo Province, confirming that the N1 highway has now been reopened after being closed for several hours owing to that accident earlier today in which five people have sadly lost their lives there. That accident taking place between the Grand Scope Toll Plaza and Middlefontaine in Limpopo.